So, hello ladies hello, and gentlemen. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Zero and I, today I'm here with Mr. Dabadim. Hello Mr. Dabadim. How are you doing, man? Hello Zero. I'm very well. Yourself? I'm, I'm, I'm well as, as well. Pretty, pretty fine day. Pretty good day. Out of time with my daughter. So, uh, so, so that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's pretty cool. Uh, so today we're gonna have a best of five series semi-final of Ghost uh, We Yesterday we had Jayun versus Doodle Doodle. Jayun uh, won three to one and advanced to the finals. Of course, Doodle Doodle, thanks to the fact that he is uh, all of those four players. For thanks to the fact that they are in the round of eight, round of four, they have a seat in BSL 18 uh pro league so that's great but now they are playing for the finals and we will have uh raz versus martinio protos versus terran mr davadin what was your race when you were active in starcraft or what is your race i was protos i was i was the the one you know do you remember the um, championship in poland when everybody uh, to get a diploma for not yeah. playing protos i didn't get one <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Those diplomas were pretty funny. That 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 was a pretty fa awesome. fa funny joy, fa funny, uh, funny idea by Mr. Pierre Jean. Mm. So we will have a Protoss expert. Uh, I am a Zerg, but I casted and obsessed upset a few games. So I hope that that I will be able to keep up. Uh, so let's go to the first game. It's going to happen on uh, Apocalypse. So Ras versus Madinio. Uh, game number one of the series. Let's get this party started. Okay. Here we go. Twelve o'clock. We got our Michael Razin Razzoli. Raz as a blue uh, Protoss. And as a blue, as a red there, and we are having Mister Madinio. The Norwegian, Norwegian Viking, Super Gosu, Terran. Yes, so Madinio is very strong this season. I think I think he's easily on the Pro League level. I've seen his uh, BWCL uh, record this season, so the clan uh, games, and he won all all his um, games a part of uh, two games against Devolt and Bonnie. And he lost them to one, so that that oh. tells you how strong he is. That's impressive. That's imp very impressive. Yeah, and he's active in Blood War Clanning. This is a great thing. I also recently uh, joined uh, a team where where I'm playing a little bit of Blood War Clanning, and I'm losing against random players. So the fact that Madinio can beat everyone besides Bonnie and the world is very impressive. Yeah, and, and also he's very active. Not only in uh, one on one, he's he's one of the best players uh, in TVT. Uh, into two uh, versus two. I think he's playing with TT one, if I'm not mistaken. I think he, he, they ended up uh, last season on Basel uh, two against two on third position. I think he and they. Ended um, up. And I think no TT one played with Kenzie and they ended up in third position. Yes, but Madinio played uh -huh. with Ransor and I think they ended up uh -huh. like fourth or fifth spot, something like this. But they were very high. And uh, first season, Madinia was playing with Marvin and also were uh, like top four, I believe. So yeah, he is. Uh, I would say if I would have to compare, I would say that he's more of a two versus two player than one versus one player for me. I would say so, but that that doesn't mean that he he uh, he's not like very uh, top level on one on one. Oh yeah, there there are more much more tournaments one on one. So I believe that he's playing more one on one because of the fact that it's pretty hard to get two versus two game. But uh, I'm just yeah, saying that compared yeah. to other people who are playing two versus two, his skill is incredible. That's mm. right. I think you're very right on that. That the amount of tournaments to uh, against two. If you wouldn't do this the BSL tournament last time. Uh, the, there, there isn't any actually. Yeah, I think so. There, there is two versus two game in Budwo Clanic, that's one thing. Um, there was two versus two game, I think, in Sinhan Tank Pro League in STPL back in the days, but besides that, two versus two was, was treated um, not too good. Yeah, I, I, I think it's it's because Koreans never, never were into uh, two versus two. They were always uh, one versus one. Okay, let's focus on the game then. Uh, it looks like very standard opening for both of the players. 
Um, uh, we, we can see common center going up now. I'm expecting Nexus being, being started very soon as well. I think I, the probe is already there. And just 400 minerals, yeah. And now the Nexus is, is going to be uh, starting. Here we go. So very standard for now. Very standard, but Madinio was able to go for a fast expansion and sneak out the Vulture before before the machine shop. So that's pretty best. And he will be able to risk out as well. That's right. So Madinio got has got the intel um, and started um, the command center without uh, need of uh, bunker, which is a good always. Yeah. You don't want to waste this 100 minerals. Yeah, that's definitely great. When 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 you can save this 100 minerals, everything will be faster. Oh, but now he decides to go for it. Yeah, yeah well, maybe this well, is like anti anti range timing or something like this. That's right. Ah, the run by. Potentially, one or two. What do you think? One probe, definitely. Yeah. There we go. Another one. Probably, probably one more. But there is a range, so we will that's see. Right. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Two probes over are very good, very well done. And he will be able to snipe the probe at the same time. Whoa, that's a, that's a good control. That's that tells you something about the player that when you uh, micro vulture in, in your on your uh, opponent's mineral line and then you go out to catch the probe, you need to you need to be very fast and, and have the multitasking to do so. That was impressive. And now we have the pressure on top of this bunker, but there is a tank already from Madinio, so he is ready. Um, but I would say that the game is... Um, in, like, I don't know how it happened, but Madinio have supply advantage at this stage of the game, which is ridiculous. Like, it, it shouldn't it's happen. No, no, never. Uh, <laughs> but also, you can see, normally you don't have any uh, tanks when your guns are at your natural. Now you get two. And I've noticed that Madino did another um, marine, so this is offensive marine. You can see straight away four you need for the bunker, but if you make another, you know you're yeah, going to attack. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a good, very good point. And we have Ras uh, with three guns trying to get some free damage when stepping back, going back. He's doing a good job with it, applying a lot of right damage. Range. Yeah, yeah. Madino uh, recognizes that and respect uh, the uh, four guns with with range and steps steps back i think it's madinio is still in the good position however Raz started his third very early i really like this reaction from him and so now I he knows no that, well. yeah he knows he stopped the attack so and he he probably also knows that he's behind in terms of uh in terms of the expansion timing so this third expansion might help him to go back to this game that's right. Good move uh, by Raz, and also he he will have some intel now. There's no uh, anti detection for for Madino as for now. I think there are some turrets in the uh, in the main. Uh, yeah, just just going up. That I think that's uh, anti uh, river. Um, but in the meantime, maybe the ops can sneak in before the turrets are up, or maybe it's too late. I, I see that sometimes protests know exactly where the turrets are up, and you can. Yeah. <laughs> fly in and then you know that you won't be able to fly out but you can monitor the production of your opponent hmm. and we can see that Raz is trying to sneak in the uh, observer no, but... that, that's too late that's too late yeah yeah that's i think really nice placing you, you know bunker and the turret so, so there's no way in yeah that's that's i think this is the only way in i would say because here is tight 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 here there is a spot i think but it's very hard to do it and but here is empty <laughs> and you need to uh, probably you need to fly just above the bunker so it is you it feels risky you know yeah. those marines <laughs> are having those guns <laughs> just waiting for you oh well, we have a stargate and citadel of Adun, so we will have fast arbiter it looks like a full tech straight away so there will be a window for for madinio to to uh, make a good uh, push uh, because that costs you a lot of production, uh, developing all this tech. Let's see if Madinho will recognize that. I'm not sure if madino has got um, scans on his way, uh, maybe Academy somewhere. No, not yet. Oh, so not he yet. won't be able to see it uh, just now. Um, he might he might be feeling he's, he's alright, but the third base is already uh, mining saturated very well. Uh, and. 
if the tech will uh, Ooh, nice kick in as well, that, that will be very interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see the same amount of workers. Those miles are very, very smart. Oh, minus one gun. Oh, not one hit. Yeah. Oh, Ras needs to be careful, but he's picking second tank. Nicely done. He lost three guns for two tanks. I think it's a fair trade. But I it will be so hard to go back now with those guns. Those are such oh, a beautiful no. mines. Oh no. Oh. oh my god, Mr. Raz. Mr. Raz got destroyed by three mines. Oh my goodness, that's no. so bad, so painful. This trade was so good. But when you actually develop your tech, you don't want to be on the map. You don't want to go too far. And now he did he did that. He he lost the, the army that he cannot rebuild now very quickly because of all this tech. Yeah, those mines for Madinho were so smart. He made it a bit easier for Madinho this time. Yeah, but now Gas has a Zealot, so maybe he will be able to, to kill those tanks. However, there are some additional mines, so it will be harder. Now that finally the ops are arriving. GG. Yeah, yeah, those, those uh, group of goons that ruined everything for us. That was unfortunate. <laughs> but really solid play from Madinho. No yeah. mistakes made, just a solid, straightforward uh, TVP. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very good, uh, very good series. Uh, first series by a Italian player, and he's taking 1-0 lead. Yeah, 1-0 for, for Madinio. I think Madinio uh, overall is more experienced, and Raz is kind of underdog here. But uh, Raz, Raz is very solid, so so I wouldn't... wouldn't um, Put any money on on any of them. I think it's uh, it's head to head. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I agree. I close. agree. They are both uh, very very strong and solid. But Madinho have played I think like ten seasons of Pro League or something like this. Where Matt uh, just recently started to qualify and and he still I believe needs to prove himself uh, a little bit more than Madinho, but. Uh, I think like because I like to pick the players if I'm making a show match for example I like to pick the players on the similar level and I would mm -hmm. say that those guys are ec excellent match for the uh, for the for the show match in my opinion because both of them are like seem to me I am on very similar skill level but I as a, I agree with you that Madinho have this additional experience in for for so many years in pro league that's right. He faced Devolt uh, and Bonny so many times. He knows exactly what uh, processes are capable of. Uh, he knows the timings. He 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 was in Pro League so many times. Russ only tasted it one once, and now now he's going his way through Gosu League, and uh, he deserved his spot in Pro League. So next season we will see both those guys again in Pro League on the highest level in Europe and the world, uh, Southern <laughs> Korea. So yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so the next game is going to be on Invader and we are ready to jump into it. So let's go. Second game of the series, Madinho versus Raz. Let's get this party started. Let's go. So in the top left position of Invader, we are having Madinho. Yep. And... Uh, uh... Bottom right corner, uh, blue Protoss, Ras. And he's already Zero. doing something sneaky. Mr. Ras. Oh, oh, here we go. He's a very aggressive player. Just, just uh, can you remind me, uh, is the second map Loz's choice? Or is it uh, set up before uh, the uh, series? It's set up before, before the series. Okay, okay. So it looks like Ras was prepared for this map with something special. And yeah, we can see this is a very smart place to build the gateways. I think you don't scout this direction, no. you scout the high ground, right? Definitely, you, you, it's not on, on any path. Uh, unless you expect something, you would not check this position. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any type of wall this time. I think that's favorable for, for Madinho, uh, considering how difficult the wall uh, on the natural is to make. So it will be just a micro between the supply and the barracks um, with the marines. Hmm, but he will at least have a decent sim city, but this barrack is a little bit delayed. We could be seeing that he clicked and shift clicked 
and he didn't have mina gas, but okay, the gas was really stolen. Smart. That's really smart. So he pretends that this, well, maybe not only pretends, he will steal this gas, but he pretend he was trying to pretend that this is gas steal. I'm I'm pretty sure that he didn't want to to do it, but that would be very <laughs> suspicious if he wouldn't take it having this opportunity. Yeah, yeah, especially. But now I think it's it's not bad for him because he will be able to produce zealots, and Mad will have no option to uh, go for fast vultures, so he will have to expand now. So those zealots immediately will have a value for a longer time. Oh, that's and... right. Yeah, definitely the attack will be very very late for. Um... For Modinho. Very, very annoying probe, very nice micro oh, from yeah. Raz. Yeah, so SCV is the, the nightmare builders. So the only the only race in StarCraft when you actually need to watch your workers doing the building. <laughs> Here we go, the first zeal is in. And yeah. the first marine is not out. Here he is. Yeah, very okay. good timing of the zealot. He will try to snipe the first SCVs. Oh, he's ranging them from here. We need three free hits on, on an STV with the probe. Yeah. Here we go. First one died. And Marine's starting to chase Zeal. Nice yep. position of the supply. Will be Captain Mouse, but when you got a second Zeal going from the other area. Yeah, now it's suddenly a little bit more difficult. That's a sweet spot by the Marine. Oh, very sweet spot. Both Marines are in the perfect position. Uh, killing the Zeal by Madinho. Beautifully done, but now he's not paying attention. However, Ras is doing it beautifully. He will be able to yeah. snipe this marine most likely. No, beautiful micro. Oh, but the probe wants to do it, and he will do it with the probe. That's right. Okay, another deal is coming in. Look oh, at this that's block with engineering block. bay. He wants to expand, but can't do it. The marine micro is good. It's really solid, and I don't think Madinho lost uh, enough to to call this um, harassment from uh, Raz um, successful. I think it's let's say square. However, Madinho's got the intel that there is uh, Nexus going up. Yeah, exactly. He pulled some probes from mining. I would say that this is an even game because Madinho will expand on his own now with the bunker oh, yeah, most likely. The, that's right. Without the gas, he, he's forced to do so. And also, you can see that he's got already 600 uh, minerals uh, spare because you, you will not build another <laughs> barracks, right? You need to do something else with this uh, minerals, so the, it will be just common center. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and we can see that Madinho oh, misclicking and losing Marine. Yeah, that was a bad misclick. And Zeos are so strong against uh, Marines, so you need to be careful every time because you, you if you lose two two of them, suddenly you, you just might as well lose all of them if there's another zealot. Because one zealot can kill three of them. Yeah, we can see Raz doing excellent job denying this expansion for such a long time. He will have his own almost completed, so this is a big win for him. But he's losing the, the workers battle, it's like he's two probes behind. But he no, will be able to keep up with this expansion. Yeah, definitely. Once the Nexus is up, he will, he will, he will be up front very quickly. Uh, command center is like one third uh, done. Uh, I was wondering if Rust will choose to do um, some defensive builds. I don't like the, the gateway position, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure why why it's over there. Uh, I'm only thinking that he he didn't have a pylon at his main um, at that time. Okay, so the. Oh, that's why I was thinking if that's a cannon or not. It was a yeah, this is this is not the perfect position for the cannon because no. it's not covering this area. But on the other hand, it it's like allows the cannon to see a lot and eliminate the potential mines. But Ras is doing a good job with the Zillow still. The is not finished yet. Yeah, he might force even a vulture. Nope, Madinho decided no. I will hold it with Marines. I like it even if that doesn't do anything because he sees two factories going up, so he knows oh, that there definitely. is no anything fancy. It's, it's just spending the entire gas Marino had for for his factories. There's no uh, star uh, ports or anything uh, sneaky. Yeah, this information is very very precious, and he will be able to eliminate 
one maybe even two marines one shot away from a even oh, two marines so annoying. <laughs> so annoying nicely done and Ras with the range on the way second gateway let's say third gateway but this will die probably but since the beginning of the game for four minutes straight Raz is in mad base for for four minutes very aggressive play i like it very much i think Raz need to respect the two factories now because one gateway will be uh, dead very soon so and production from one gateway with two nexuses well <laughs> You will be having too many minerals very, very soon. So, does he cancel that? Oh, that's a lost minerals. And no, no, no. It's automatically coming back. I think from from the killed building. Oh, didn't know that. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's good to know. I mean, chat might correct me, but I think I think I'm right. Okay, so okay. I'm just going back, Mr. Shlom. Thank you for the prime subscription. Oh, we have a third base from Raz. I think this Nexus is misplaced, by the way. Uh, it should be a bit to the right, good but... Defense, yeah. Very yeah, good defense, yeah. yeah. I think the Nexus is close to the gas, as it should, but... Too yeah, far to the gas... Or... Yeah, I would say too far to the left, maybe, but... Maybe not. Mm, may maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's just me and the fact that I'm zooming out. I hope this time Ras will, will do like five, six gateways straight away because I think this is what he was lacking last time and not try to develop too much tech. Just just do like solid uh, 12, maybe even uh, 16 Dragoons just to control the map. If he wants to be in this position he is now, he, he don't want to step back on <laughs> the set of mines and, and lose the army that he needs to develop his tech later on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it would be good to add those additional uh, gateways because we can see that again, Madinio up in supplies, up in workers. He is a little bit more consistent with building them. Yep. Both both um, uh, machine shops are, are doing great. Uh, I think Madinio knows already that there is a third base. Yeah, he confirms that now. Oh, oh, oh. that doesn't work well. <laughs> this is one of those those walls which look tight, but it, did, it isn't. But I guess uh, there were no real consequences. There were no probes over there. So we no, no, find no. out for free. That's right. Only one vulture. So he was more like uh, getting uh, intel than trying to, to harass anything. Just put some mines. Make sure that that you know what your opponent opponent is up to. Exactly. Yeah. So it looks like Rust doesn't really favor uh, river drops, which Madinio is still uh, preparing for, uh, la like he did last game. Um, but will it be again um, Citadel and and Stargate? Is that something that? Okay, no. So yeah, it would uh, Rust developing slowly. So I'm expecting some more gates um, because now we're seeing five factories. So you need to have seven, eight gateways uh, to fight this. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm waiting for Rust to add those gateways because it's getting late. The factories are already up. Madinho is, is, is like spinning his armory to get an upgrade. And I believe it will be something like one O timing where he will build six facts and he already have 50 SCVs, so he will not he have to spend to money on it, yeah. yeah, on SCVs yeah, anymore. Yeah. I'll be full focus. I don't think this violent fixes anything, does it? I don't know, maybe it fixes it because of this, this, this part oh, yeah, of the... This triangle shape, yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know, we will see. Um, now it can be even Zergling tight. It's, it's so stupid. <laughs> Sometimes it's it's like this. Oh, this is a nice observer. He will see the the move out of Madinio and Madinio going for expansion behind the six fact. That's interesting. Well, oh, yeah. he's pretending that he's going for expansion. You think so? That would be very interesting. Uh, you know, I I wonder. I've just seen some uh, dragoons um, killing some mines. And they were very close to those mines. It's almost like the range is not finished. Oh, mm, I've I, I've sure. seen it. I've seen him starting it, so I believe he finished right, it. But okay. 
Uh, my, just see. the observer was was uh, a bit oh, late. That's incredible why. Oh, mind what? drag from Ras, such a brilliant yeah. play. Whew, that's nice. That's a good exchange, good trade for Ras. He came back to the game thanks to this move, and now he will be able to snipe Brilliant. all of the tanks even, probably. He pretty much resets the number of tanks, so now Madinio is far, far away from another push. Yeah, this is what Raz needed, because he just finished his gateway, so he didn't have the numbers to clear this army, and we can see that he wasn't aware of those mines, so oh, if he would be escaping, mind. this Madinu army would so be dead. Good. Putting mines behind you. Oh, another one. Yeah, this is so painful. Very hard to play against such a smart Terra. And, and Madinia still pushing with one tank. This is very brave. Okay. Well, the number of Vultures is quite solid. And the mines are doing a lot of work. Yeah. And this is the moment where, where Ras still doesn't have the legs on the z uh, Which changes a lot. Um, so, so maybe he will be able to control this area. He just need two more tanks, and then it will be very, very tricky for uh, for us to trade efficiently. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, like three to five tanks, and it will be hard to even get closer to this army with guns. Because for now, with those two tanks, I think Ras can clear it. He should be able to. Yeah, but nice, nice job by Martinho. A nice target Place fire. Here. The placement of the army is so good. And he even brings you know what CVs. happens? Well, if if Martinho kills this base, it doesn't even matter the base is done uh, is is done. But the high ground of this base is pretty much uh, the killer for the, for the proton. Oh yeah, putting tanks over here and it's, right. it's eliminating our, actually this part of the map for the protos. Yeah, you get one one eight uh, one um, way. Uh, out from your base uh, and potentially you, you just you just screwed very much hmm. i think my... Madina did it. it it's very difficult now for us Ooh. without the proper proper uh, drops um or and zero legs yeah this is a, also a very good micro from madino but he was able to eliminate this tank so maybe he will be able to actually clear it because the, uh, but those three at least he will delay this push and Save That's this right. base. Uh, even though it wasn't the best uh, trade for uh, for us, that helps him to, to keep keep this uh, alive because this location, losing this location, is crucial. Yeah, yeah. Especially that uh, uh, Madinho is just now expanding, so it's not like Madinho is uh, exploding over the map. He's really focusing on this push to work. So both players really know about it and they are trying oh, their the best to much. They are to trade units the best they can. I love the turret with next to four pylons. This, this looks very nice. <laughs> yeah, not not very usual usual <laughs> picture. Oh, but Raz is very very um, brave, trying to to break them. The probes are finally mining. Raz taking the fourth base behind it. I think he That's needs more gateways. Though. That's that's another thing. I think he he over and over he's got a lot of resources not spent, and the, those mines, Martinez playing them, placing them everywhere. Like he knows yeah. exactly where where the movements are from from Protoss. He's so um, so good at reading uh, potential. Uh, oh, at the same time the drop. Oh, here we go. So one tank left, and then two vultures going further. Yeah, nice, nice uh, sure distraction from Madinho. At the same time, he is oh. attacking to the fourth base. So actually, all the bases are under pressure. Yeah, I hate those moments when, when you actually need to move probes from every base. <laughs> yeah, you are from, actually from not mining. And you are not mining with like 30 or 40 probes for for a minute. So that's a lot. Right. That's, yeah. that's pretty big loss. But this Nexus will be dead. Yeah, we, we don't but even see it... attempt of saving it. Yeah, yeah, that, those units are so fast. They just appear, damage everything, put mines everywhere, <laughs> and then they are gone before you know it. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what this attack is supposed to do. Maybe he will be able to break this base. 
I got a lot of tanks in the back, so. I mean, it's really he will be able hard. to go in. I'm not sure if that will be. There'll be anything more than just going in and confirming that there is a base. Yeah. Quite that. Secured. That's what. And that's all he got. Try. I I see the Russ is doing a lot of probes. I mean, the number is the same, 61, 59. It's very close. Uh, but Russ is not having the same army as as Madinio. Uh, and, and and he's keep making the probes. I think he he in this moment he should focus on rebuilding his army, like make, making sure that he is not in the position to be pushed again, because he cannot lose some of the positions on the on the map, especially now when he lost the third the fourth base. Hmm. Yeah. Um, it would be very oh, no, very no. Oh, very important for him to take the fourth base because now he's free base versus free base and. Actually, the Arbiter tech might help him, so I like that he's taking it. Uh, going for it. Fourth base for Madinio. Yeah, like a, a couple minutes ago, uh, I think Rask had like 1500 gas, but not that much of minerals. So he decided to do Temporals as well as uh, uh, Arbiter tech. I think it's the right thing to do. Uh, yeah. Spend your, your gas on very uh, heavy tech units. Yeah, uh, because if you are, if you are behind in ground army in muscles, then like the storm is the only thing that can bring uh, bring you back to the to the to the even fight because they can they can give you an opportunity to kill a large amount of units. Uh, so I think the storms are a great great choice. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, uh, like. You want something to, that does damage, uh, like on multiple units. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm a little bit worried of Ras that he doesn't have observers on the map. So this gas, if he would spend it on like let's say five observers, that he will see where where uh, the Terran is moving, where are the mines. Uh, he only moving like with two uh, observers. And my other worry is that Madino is so good at placing mines that those high templars just wandering around. They might just die from mines by a mistake, but by a just you know unlucky path of movement. Yeah, it might happen. This is uh, Madino mines are so effective. This game, this this series actually, the last game as well, that it's yeah. very possible. Like for now, this high templar, it, 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 he got lucky that he got back <laughs> behind <laughs> the ghost. Blocked him and said, "You're not going there." <laughs> yeah. No, oh, this Stay is here. what happens to oh, the high templar. But nice storm. Uh, nice quick storm from Raz, but it didn't save him from eliminating the High Templar. Alinio oh, with two no, one this upgrades. Is a big army mo moving. I think storms now and potential static stasis will be will be really really efficient here. Otherwise, it will be super tricky to to defend it. Hmm. Two one two one units. Two one yeah, and mm -hmm. one zero for the Protoss, and we can see that Madi uh, that Raz decided that he's going for the counter attack. I actually like this move, but he didn't evacuate those probes, and he has fifty four. Let's see how many he will have left oh, after I those. Think easily twenty there. Oh, I would say that he will go down to 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 thirty, maybe. There are oh, a lot wow. of probes here. Okay, let's see the counter attack because that's the only hope for Ooh. for Raz. Oh, this is solid defense. Yeah, this it's is like, so much army here. I mean, how? Did he decide <laughs> like to go, okay, I'll put half here and I will keep the other half at home. <laughs> oh, so many, so many oh, magic. Yeah. GG. GG. I'm not surprised. Uh, I would do the same if I would be Ras. He, he was super, super solid uh, by Marino. Very, very good series by our viking our actually current champion of bsl ghost league so he's defending the title right. he's got a chance to do a back to back he won't be able to do it next season though because he's already in pro league <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> unless he will eliminate uh, they decide to not play in pro league because he wants to keep the ghost league score yeah he'll uh, be like uh, sevilla uh, in european champions uh, football oh <laughs> They're winning all the the, the, the lower the, leagues. Oh, yeah, yeah, European league, not the Champions League. They won it like six times. 
Also. Yeah, you know, back in our days, like in BSL 5 or 6, we wanted to make the price pool of Gosulik higher. And one season we did it, we've led to like, like 400 or 500 dollars. And there yeah. were players who actually mm, didn't want to play Pro League. Perfect. Yeah, because uh, they wanted to play Gosulik. So uh, we are trying to keep Gosulik level, uh, price pool now on the level that it will not tempt players to to just not to play in Pro League. So, yeah, I, th I think you balanced it very well. So you're not attracting uh, the, the players now with the money of the tournament, but with the opportunity to play in Pro League next season, which is awesome thing for, for every player. So creating four seeds just for advanced, well, not just, but advanced by advancing in semi-finals in this tournament. It's a huge thing for, for all these players. Hmm. And, and we have a next game being on Neo Dark Origin and we are already ready to jump into it. So it's going to be um, mad. Uh, oh, Mr. Mr. Davadim, give me a second. I will check whether I do not need to... I have to take the glue on Olive. I don't know how to do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you need to check, check, check in your dollar. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, so one second, guys. So we will make a two minute break. Okay.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are back and uh, we will be going into the third game between Mr. Ras and Mr. Madinho on Neo Dark Origin. Um, so, two players map, what do you think about this? Uh, second two players map in the series, Mr. Mr. Dabadim. Yes, after Invader, we got uh, Neo uh, Dark Origin. Well, I think I think it's very even between uh, Protoss and Tehran. I don't think there's any particular advantages. Uh, I, uh, me personally, I don't like uh, maps against Tehran that he knows r um, straight away where I am. Mm -hmm. I like to, to have some opportunity for surprises. Um, but apart of that, uh, I think it's um, well very tight uh, map. Um, Let's see. I, I don't think there will be any any uh, different different fr from uh, Madinho. I think he's playing his game. Uh, so the only thing we can expect is Raz doing something else. Maybe this time he would be he will be doing the reverse drop. You know he didn't do it in the first two games. Madinho was spending all those uh, minerals on Torres. Maybe he will consider. Okay, his guy this guy doesn't do river drops and Ma uh, and Raz will will. Uh, make a surprise. I hope that Russ uh, does something um, something different this time. But go on. Um, they're yeah. both very high level players. Uh, so definitely Russ is... Uh, well, Madino is in Russ's range easily. Yeah, especially that this is Protoss versus Terran, so you can try to abuse the, air, the fact that in the early stage of the game Protoss can take the initiative and do something sneaky like DTs, like River, like Fast Nexus. So let's let's check it out. The third game uh, between Raz and Mad uh, on Dark Origin. Let's go. go. So on the top left, look. Yeah, go yeah. on. Okay, top left, go. No. We've got our uh, Michael Grazzoli. With our blue protos. And on the bottom right, we are having Mr. Madinio, Super Ghost to Terran. And the, the old, always I want to talk to me about Mr. Raz, that he's a great guy, great caster, always very yeah, helpful. Guy. He's always doing this pro move out, and you need to focus on it because <laughs> 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 because because this is this is action from the 30 second of the game. Uh, it is kind of a surprise because you don't expect somebody doing the same thing twice, especially that when it didn't work the first time. So, oh. it, I guess it can work. Why not? Yeah, like in previous game, I wouldn't say that it didn't work. Maybe the fact that that no, he no, followed it right, up, right. uh, followed it, it up. With, yeah, it ended up not not badly. He he killed a lot of marines. He got a lot of scouting. He delayed the command center, so it wasn't that bad. I think he needs to fix the the, the later steps steps after this gateway, and he understands it. So, and this is a good map to do it because there is a perfect position for pylon and gateway. That's and gas right. still again. Well, I'm I'm not sure if he wanted to steal the gas again, but go on. If he if he gets that that chance, he will take it. Um, I'm guessing the the harassment will be will be good as well. So this STV will be swapped uh, once um, probably um, yeah, already already to three STVs not mining there's another fourth one not mining so that that is econ economical um, damage straight away let's yeah. see when the, when the zealot is up it will be scouted just now uh, yeah that, that that wasn't that wasn't uh, built not to be scouted <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. That's, that's that's build called more like in your face. Like it's <laughs> you will know for sure, man. Like no you... gas stolen. Not enough gas now. That was five thousand less. He yeah. should mine the minerals now and steal the gas again. That's right. Dry him up. Yeah, exactly. Like imagine the amount of APM you would need for it. Beside the fact that the probes could die, but uh, this time we will have the marines faster. Ooh. But the buildings, is the, are the, oh, this is even better. This spot between the um, supplies, that's like untouchable uh, marines, which hmm. can also defend the uh, STVs. Yeah, 
So that's that's very very nice wall in, and Madinho is using it well because one thing is build a good wall in, and second thing is uh, executing everything perfectly. And that's right. Well, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. Even though we're losing one marine, it doesn't change that much. Just to need to make sure that uh, those uh, zealots are not going into SCB uh, mineral line. Uh, he's even chasing now. Ooh, okay, nice <laughs> misstep a bit. Yeah, very nice micro okay. from us as well. Three zealots against two marines. Now three marines. Normally, every Tyrion would just panic, right? Yeah, and usually he, back in the days, imagine. <laughs> Imagine in 2004 not building a bunker with three marines against three zealots. Oh no, you just GG if you see yeah. three zealots and you got uh, um, four marines. But today, oh, you can see how how nice the uh, press uh, forward from a STV. Yeah, I, I think I think fairly square now. Although you always uh, have this risk of uh, well, risk you lose the gateway and and the pylon. So that's a that's uh, something that you need to sacrifice. And we can see that Ras is killing a lot of damaged marines. Oh, he, he did really good job clicking them and checking which one is uh, an easy target. Oh, uh, it... But this zealot can actually be dangerous for all the free marines. Exactly, and Ras doing good job. Uh, no, no free buildings for you. You need to fight for them. Yeah, exactly. And Here it we might go. be. Intel's there. The command center is up. He understands what's facing. That's really so. I don't really um, like. I'm not very big fan for Russ to start with uh, Forge. I think. I, I know he was forced because uh, of SV um, put in the refinery, refinery instead of, uh, well, um, preventing uh, Russ from, from getting gas. But I think Forge build is. A bit passive. I think dragoons would be much better follow-up. Um, yeah, I like it more as well. But uh, normally with the goons, you are not going for the expansion. I think that early. So um, I think he's like trading the expansion for the cannons. I would say that. So yeah, but I would like to see the goons more, especially that he dealt so much damage. That now, if goon would appear with this zealot, it would be so hard to um, to deal with it. If he could continue pressure. Sure. Oh, nice target fire. I'm pretty sure Raz started building, or he thought he still started building gas and he's not mining gas. He's still at zero. Yeah. Oh, he, he's, he's mining here. Okay, okay. But yeah, those, those, I think they, they, were, they, they were there to, to put the uh, gas up. Look at now this. Now he'll be very, very behind with the tech. Again, we have one gateway applying so much pressure. That's that's amazing work from us. But now the vulture, we know how how zealots and and with, with vultures being up. Yeah, and this is probably no, no. the unit why we have cannon up, just to be be safe against those vultures. Do you think this barrack ever stopped producing marines? Because I think it was it was just constantly making marines all this time. Yeah, he probably built like twelve this game easily. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and two survived. Yeah, only two, but I believe we also had like six zealots minimum. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. There was a big number. I think more than that. I remember being three or four in, in his base and then he was constantly... Oh yeah, over. maybe even like eight or nine zealots. So, so that's pretty heavy investment, but he also killed a lot of SCVs. Uh, delayed a lot of uh, delay, delayed attack as well, so that's a lot of damage, and we can see Raz with the probe advantage. The good thing is, on, on this these games, there's no like sitting back. There's constant fight from from like like you said, 30 seconds, and probe is out. We start building uh, gateways just. Uh, up front the uh, uh, natural of, of uh, Terran so it was it was awesome to watch <laughs> how, how they are very aggressive hmm. and a quick star point from Madinho quick, quick drop ship oh we didn't see that 
uh, last game. I mean, there was some drop shoots, uh, there were some drop shoots, but not not that early in the stage. Yeah. And also, you can notice that Madino just thought, no, there won't be any rivers this game. I'm not spending spending any. Okay, they are all right, all right. No, <laughs> he built he built like three in the triangle, but he's not being able to go doing uh, to get ring at least yet. But maybe now he will go for it. Uh, I was thinking for a second that he he decided this time it won't happen. I wasted my minerals last time. No, but he he's so sorry that he he prefers to lose all this um, um, all this money for for those turrets and be saved and then regret later. He killed a lot of probes. So far this is the fourth one dying, fifth one dying. One gun died as well. Good. I think that's good. Also the mines, also you can see, uh, confirm that there is uh, robotics, there is observatory, there is no uh, robotics bay. Uh, so it looks all right. And we have two tanks drop, maybe over here it can be annoying as oh, well. Oh, that's a sweet spot, yeah. You can also you can try to place mine it, it here. As well. you can, you, can you drive there? Yeah, you can just drive there, right? You can drive with the vultures and drop the, the siege tanks over there. Yeah, but you need to kill the building uh, over ah, here to be yeah, able to, yeah. to pass um, pass it. To, but you, it's possible to do it with the tanks though, because they have a splash damage. Because there, is, oh. uh, there are a lot of stacked buildings on top of each yeah, other. Or Russ recognizes this uh, this danger and and really good pylon placement. So he knows exactly uh, uh, this uh, this chance from Mad to uh, attack his mineral line. But no, no not anymore. Uh, well, that's interesting that the dropship doesn't have uh, range uh, to see the pylon, but pylon yeah. sees that. That's really nice. But we can see Raz. Starting to do something. I mean, Madino and Ras is not paying attention over here. So that might be very s interesting, sneaky move from Madino. And I like it. He's doing exactly what you said he should do. He should mine it out, and it will be very, very hard to, to break this position. That is a super position. Oh, those poor probes. Oh, they, they targeting the pylon. That's interesting. Oh, because he doesn't have a range there all the time. Okay. And still, this pylon will die as well. Oh! That's damage done already because the, the probes are not mining. The, uh, to break this position, you need to actually lose much more than the Terran will invest um, to, to take this position. It's very hard to break it without a shuttle because you take so many tank shots. Oh, maybe yeah, it's it. worth it to try to snipe it from here, yeah. Okay. Well, it's only two. Yeah, it will be break. It will be, will be break. However, it's... Good value. Good value for the Terran, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And some more probes. Killed. And the dropship survived. Ooh, oh, 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 and, oh, and, and all the goons but... here. Poor guys. I'm not sure how many tanks died, but uh, there is a lot of blue and blood. Hmm. Anyways, uh, Ras got the third, so he's not uh, behind. He's got a higher number of probes. Uh, he's got a starport up, so he's got all the tech available. Uh, yeah, Arbiter uh, Tribunal is on, on its way. Uh, maybe still behind the uh, upgrades because I think Madino doesn't doesn't forget that his upgrades uh, and Raz I'm not sure he if he he's doing uh, his okay not that bad he Do definitely had opportunity for it because he had a forge for such a long time from the very beginning uh, but he's not spinning it just plus one so far and he's that's definitely the... lacking gateways now that's that's the thing every game right. You just put another six gateways, you still be alright. You got three bases. You you can support ten gateways from it. Easily. Yeah, especially with with healthy amount of probes as he has. Uh, but maybe he will add it soon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. It, it's like he's listening to us. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mr. Marino making sure that the fourth base won't be 
uh, taken without him knowing about it, scanning the main and natural. And he knows about Arbiter now. Everything, right, that's right. He, well, he didn't scout the third one, the third base, but I'm pretty sure he knows about it. Yeah, I think he scouted it with the Vultures uh, earlier, uh, oh, yeah. running by, so that will be fine. Yeah, and he's a... He just didn't scan it now, so, because there yeah. was probably nothing to scan. But now Madino is putting um, landing with his command center, uh, the third base himself. Um, okay, that's another good spot for Terran to, to attack. Oh. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Is that going to be... Oh, alright. That's so smart. And he's killing probes. through two cannons. Just sending some vultures to, to uh, soak the damage. That's yeah. awesome. That's so smart, and he has still some vultures here to intercept those probes. He didn't kill too many probes, but he delayed a lot of mining time and expanded on, on his own at the same time, so that's great. But that's also, you know, when something like this happens, then, then you as a Protoss realize, fuck, I didn't, didn't protect it enough, so you need to spare some more resources over there to, to make sure that it's safe next time, even though you got already two cannons, right? <laughs> so you need to do yeah. something else because you are suffering from, from those harassments. Because Madinho always finds a way and I really like the usage of this dropship, like the way a couple of vultures and two tanks with the mines it can be a very very sneaky kill squad. And thanks to this move he he got time to move out from those bridges, which is not easy yeah. not easy thing to do sometimes. It's Ooh. plus two damage timing, I guess. And well, if you can call it timing because of the start of the game, but it's not the. It's, it's very square, so um, it, it's up to Ras to take the the, the right uh, battles, because you know how it is. Uh, Terran just just can sit and, and wait for the mistakes of your opponent. Um, and one thing I noticed that the Zeals are are still without the speed. That doesn't help, that doesn't help. I, I hope it will be finished very soon. Okay, real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that gives me some, some warm feeling now. <laughs> and Madinho is going for the third, third base. This is definitely a good trade for him because now it will force Ras to take... Oh, Madinho already yeah. evacuating this base. He knows that this is the next move. The map is looking like a yin yang now. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's in yin yang. Yin Yang is with this, the symbol of balance, you know. The, oh, the, yeah, the, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So the blue is going down uh, on the right hand side, and the red is going up on the left hand side. Yeah. Uh, so we got some some of uh, of a trade. Um, I think I think it's all right for Madinho to lose this one because he didn't actually start mining properly, so he will just delay it. But, but then, for us, he lost it, but now we need to see how, how he defends this. Yeah, it will be very hard for Madinho to defend it, because there is Arbiter over here, and only one tank, so he needs to bring back all those tanks. He eliminated the third base of Raz, but I think Raz is doing a good damage here. He just needs to remember about stasising those tanks when they will cross the bridge. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. He needs to be, be focused on that. There's so many tanks that can stuck on the bridge. Ah, there was a moment that he could block entire bridge. Maybe, Maybe. he's trying to, to keep them uh, on stealth, and that's why he's keeping the Arbiter with him. Yeah, I, I, I actually cool. like it. Yeah. Mad Madini is out of scans now. Oh, that's oh, No, fine. he has two more. Okay, he has two more okay. here, and yeah. he's out of... Okay, so he's, he's oh, fine right. with scans, but... They... Oh, now the, the stasis is uh, a little oh, bit too late. That's... Yeah, I mean this thing. Is just, I would save it for later. But it doesn't doesn't mean that it's uh, it's anything bad for for us. I think he's still uh, still right. Um, oh, this expansion! Third... Oh wow! <laughs> okay, no nobody expects this. Oh, he can't. That. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he thought, okay, this is too bad money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the third one is going up again. Uh, I think he might try the fourth one again. Um, uh, well, not again, the fourth one on that uh, location, yeah, straight away. I think he feels uh, feels confi uh, quite confident now with, with uh, the position he is, but I think he, he should gather his army all together 
and take control of the map if he wants to take the fourth, as, fourth one as well because he's behind his bridges and that's never a good position if your opponent will start to siege out uh, on your bridges then you screwed so let's see okay the vultures are seeing the fall i will yeah it's cancelled straight away okay. yeah immediately and those mines are buying so much time mm. and madinio's third he just he just lifted up his uh, command center uh wait a wait a moment uh, and then landed it back so uh, for him it was very quick recovery yeah he's still mining from two bases he still has minerals in the main and natural and uh, in the natural and third base where uh, Raz is already mined out from the main base so he's only mining in natural now yeah that's one that's why he desperately wanted the, the fourth one yeah and he's got the resources to do so he's got bigger army just slightly he just needs to take the, the good positions for the fights and also the status that that changes everything that can freeze half of the army especially when it's sieged like this one yeah it would be it would be great for him if he would land like two stasis he could eliminate big part of the army and this is how you fight with the arbiter i like that he's he's waiting just gathering more energy so maybe he will have energy for free stasis but EMP is possible oh, no. there do, is do, 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 do. and oh, so painful and even eliminating the ops but it triggers us to go for no, it you don't want to go this way no, right. there are no vultures here though so that's not too bad this still arbiter has sure. energy still not sure so many siege tanks and no, yeah. no status uh, yet no you, you should state this first and then try to run by. It I mean, might work. Bad, it might work because he might work. connect, yeah. He's but connecting with the tanks. It might have been so much more efficient for, for us. He had he had the advantage of, of you know choosing the timing. Okay, so we got so, some uh, annoying drops again. But yeah. good, good response from Raz. He, he'll be alright to do it. Uh, to defend it straight away. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, but... Not? Oh, no. There are no the mines. Again. Yeah, the upgrade's helping. We will win here, yeah, I think. It will be alright. It will be just They're fine. They're going alright. Target and mines. This is so beautiful. I really like it. Like as as a Zerg even I can appreciate it. This is almost for free and it can kill one hundred supply of a Protoss. <laughs> as a Protoss, I hate it. Yeah, if, I can if, imagine. If you see something like that, do you know what I do uh, when I see something like that? I Send one zealot. <laughs> observer, no observer range. Oh, okay, that's honestly, very smart. Honestly, because now then I can actually see the mines before the, my observer is dead <laughs> because of the turret. Hmm, that's smart. That's that's good idea. I never thought about it because I always, as a Zerg, have so many overloads that oh, that's yeah, not yeah, an that's issue. Right. Yeah. Okay, we will have Here one go. stasis. Some, some good defense, but this tiny choke and so many siege tanks with three one upgrade. Damn, this is tricky. This is tricky. Ras needs a couple more zealots. He definitely. We can see that he has some additional units stacked on the gateways. Yeah. Uh, I think I think what Riz actually Raz actually needs now. I keep saying Riz. I got a friend of that name at work. Uh, he, he needs shutters with high templars and uh, storm drops because of how how um, badly he he needs to do uh, like a massive damage on those chokes. Because he only can run by on them. This is really good clearance of uh, of Ras. Uh, yeah, I, I really like it as yeah. well. But at the same time, the mines here are gaining some value. But it, it costs him a lot. It costs him a lot to to um, clean this uh, Terran's army. And and look at the map. Uh, Madino is growing. He he's like everywhere now. He's not. Um, he's preventing Ras to take any of the bases. And very soon, I'm pretty sure. He will take one, and and because of control of the map, yeah, he's taking now uh, one. I, I need uh, one now, but he needs uh, 400 minerals, and then you will be done. 
But what is what is good for Raz that he's lowering the number of tanks all the time. So there is no like 20 tanks number. It's so far we have nine. Now we have 11. It's it's decent number, but this is not a 22 minute number of tanks what you're expecting as a as a Terran. Yeah. So this is one thing that works for Raz. That's but... right. And you can block of them. You can block like in this this moment you can block four of them. And oh. yeah, with the stasis. This, um, I'm not sure if this this uh, base is going to stand, but there's yeah. no other option for us. There's no better uh, option for him. So it, it's it's a bit working from Madino for Madino that he knows exactly that Raz needs a base, and the yeah. only base he can take is this one. So I just need to uh, take this area of the map, mine it out, uh, siege it out, uh, and just wait for him because he needs to to take the base here. Oh, and Raz with the small counter attack. The kill squad of goons going to snipe this SCV which wanted to expand. That's good, that's really good. And also he knows uh, that the, the, ba the base is not up yet. Oh, that's a very, very good pickup of, uh, of uh, Science Vessel. Yeah, definitely. Well done. Uh, well done because uh, now his, his Arbiters will be able to gather energy and... Okay, there is, there is one more, there are actually two more, so EMPs are still in game. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking if the right uh, top corner is not an option for Raz, if that base yeah, is not, it, yeah, I, I was thinking about it and then probably is going there, yeah. That's 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 a good option uh, for him, yeah, Madino will scout it though. I, I wonder if, you know, it, it, this mine, right, is it is it to prevent the Nexus or is it to see the Nexus? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I think this is more for a vision. That's, that's a really good placement then. Fortunately, he has vessels, so he can have a vision, but oh, beside the mines and vultures, it would be very hard to see this high ground. Oh, look at that Goliath, the oh, Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix hero. 2 0 versus 3 1 three upgrades. One. Potentially, the, the second armory um, upgrade is, is on his way, but 3 1 is still very. very uh, yeah, 3 2 is on the way. 3-0 uh, for Raz will be done in a second. He has okay. two arbitrary. Oh, he's going for the recall, it seems like. Maybe. Oh, that. Hmm. Where do where do you recall though? I, I mean all always. Always you do it on the on the factory line. Okay. Well let's see. But that will trigger a counterattack straight away. Yeah, but he has, see, he has storms, so maybe, like, actually, I like the choice from him. He's bringing back the vessel, Ooh, so he needs to get exactly. quick. Okay. Not on the mines, not on the mines. Okay. He knows exactly that you do it on the factory line. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. That's, yeah, that won't work. Such a good defense from, Ra from Madino, but also a good attempt at the same time, Raz eliminating the fourth base. So I really like this move from him. He had like, I mean, Russ is going, doing a really good job, but Madino had like 10 seconds to, to move back with his uh, vultures to defend his uh, factory line and his main, and, and he managed to do so. Yeah. I mean, there was like a race. Vultures <laughs> against the Arbiter. That yeah, when you see cool. Arbiter going to your main base, I believe the heart rate is going up a little bit as a Terran. The... Yeah, definitely. And then you check, do I have Terran, uh, turrets there? Turrets. No, no <laughs> turrets this way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's always picking the right angle, right? <laughs> yeah. An Arbiter is actually very try, uh, very hard to kill. But yeah, now we're in the position where, where Rust doesn't have any minerals to mine. Yeah. Same thing basically for Madino. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And this is very. Limits are very close, like not identical almost. Yes, four, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's almost Second identical. Man. If we will, even if we will uh, minus the the probes and yes, SCVs, yeah. Marino still have 180. Oh, he has 360 minerals here. Ross got exactly 50. Yeah, this is this is what he has. So he has to expand. He has <laughs> the probes one, though. Helper. Oh, he needs to be careful over here, do not lose the height. Oh, no, you need to respect every unit now. 
Yeah. Oh no, the probes are. Oh, actually, that was good. Prop was taking the damage, so. Yeah, that's, that's actually great. Oh, yeah. nice EMP. Killing this yeah, vessel is very good. Pickup will be very, very uh, important because science vessels are now very uh, deadly units for Protoss. And because of the EMP. Dabadim, look at the amount of Vultures. There are basically only tanks and Goliaths. There are no Vultures. So, yeah. well, Recall well, on top of the tanks. The Zilots against the uh, plus three uh, siege. The first wave will just will just evaporate very quickly. The <laughs> damage is, is, is so big from siege tanks. You don't want you don't want to try it. You you can see it that yeah maybe I can advance it, but then when you run into it, you see that half of your army is already gone, and then you you don't have even uh, way back. You, if you know what I mean, you don't have you you cannot just uh, go back because on the way back you lose the remaining half. Yeah, yeah. So this is like like a commitment that you you need to be very sure of. No, no, this arc, no, don't go this way. Yes. Russ spotted that and brought it back. I'm not sure about those pros though. Yeah, I believe maybe this is the natural part. I don't know where he was sending them from. Oh, but yeah, this, this, is... this area, yeah. That's this area. So I, I think the pros thought this will be the shorter way. Okay, Madinio will be mined out here, but he's mining from this base. So this is. This is a very good situation yeah. for him. Oh, and target firing the High Templars. Very impressive uh, play. Yeah. I mean, now sacrificing your minerals is for gas, not necessarily the best idea. <laughs> but if you already placed your, your mines, you know the vultures are, are giving you some intel, running by, you can pick up some some uh, probes as well, you can see what your opponent is up to. It's always, it's always good to move on the map and then just sit back. And yeah. you can see how map looks like, it's all red. It's, it's, you know, Madino is not missing anything. There is any movement on the map, he will know. Yeah, exactly. It's very hard to uh, to, to just eliminate the mines uh, without Observer. And we can see Ras not having Observer, actually. Well, he's got plenty of gas. Come on, Ras. Yeah, yeah. Just he one can... with one. Why just it... one? Make another one. Yeah, he... Oh, uh... no. Those probes. Poor probes. Poor props, they were mining, oh. almost mined for the observer. GG yeah. from Raz. I think Raz recognizes that Mandino had this uh, up and running base, which which is, uh, you know, just uh, bomb clocking for, for us. It, it was just a matter of time. <laughs> great, great series. I think Mandino showed his, his uh, really solid uh, TVP. And I think uh, he's preparing for TVP uh, since a while.